hello everyone today we are going to do the experiment on dc shunt motor and that is brake test and main aim of this experiment is to perform the brake test on dc shunt motor and to draw its performance curves or performance characteristics at different different loads and this is the circuit diagram and it is almost same as that of the experiment of Swinburne's test but the only difference is that here this part is extra that is spring balances are loads so left, left side is supply that is 220 volts DC supply which is given to this shunt motor as it is a shunt motor field winding is in parallel with the armature winding and this is a three point starter ammeter and voltmeter rheostat The apparatus which are required to perform this experiment is ammeter of range 0 to 10 or 20 amperes of type MC moving coil quantity 1, voltmeter 0 to 300 volts MC type 1 quantity, rheostat of range 0 to 370 ohms by 1.7 amperes type WW means wire wound and the quantity 1, tachometer it is used to measure the speed of the motor and units are rpm revolutions per minute and its range is 0 to 10,000 rpm and it is of digital type and connecting wires as per requirement these are the nameplate details of this dc shunt motor it is of hp 5 hp its rated speed is 1500 rpm type of wound shunt armature wound is 220 volts armature current 20 amperes field voltage 220 volts and field current 0.9 amperes which are to be written in the name table nameplate details column this is a panel for low test on decision motor this is dpst fuse starter meters rheostat and this is a dc motor and to which the load is already connected by using the spring balances this is S1 and this is S2. And their units is kilograms kg. Coming to procedure, firstly make the connections as per the circuit diagram. Initially keep the motor fuel rheostat in minimum position. So this should be in minimum position. And before starting, there should be no load on this motor, which means that this belt should be free. Coming to procedure, firstly make the connections as per the circuit diagram. Initially keep the motor fully restored in minimum position, so this should be in minimum position. And check whether the belt on the pulley is free, so that there should be no load on the motor. So this belt should be free and now close the dpst switch and start the motor slowly with the help of starter so we have to close this dpst switch and start the motor by using this slowly and adjust the motor fuel restart till the rated speed of the motor is obtained so we have to vary this position till the motor speed of motor gains 1500 rpm that is rated speed and note on the readings of ammeter voltmeter and s1 s2 at no load as the belt is free so there is no load on the motor now apply the load on the pulley gradually in steps of input current till the rated current of the motor is obtained so rated current of the motor is 20 amperes so till it reaches 20 amperes we can apply load and for every reading note down the values of ammeter and voltmeter s1 s2 and speed after getting rated current remove the load and bring back the rear start to its initial position and open dpst switch this is a tab tabular column where we have to note down the vol values of voltage current this is spring balances s1 and s2 and speed with the tachometer and all these are calculations 
and this is a graph. First we have to close this DPST switch. And this voltmeter is showing some value. So that is around 107 amperes. And which is multiplied by 2 because we are connected in 300 volts range. Now start the motor slowly with the help of starter. So I am going to start. And then check the speed. So this is how we can measure the speed. So it's around 1376. Now we have to vary this VSR till it reaches 1500 RPM that is greater speed. So we got 1500 RPM. Now load on the range of ammeter and voltmeter string balances. So ammeter value is 0 0.5 and input voltage is 107. One hundred six volts into 2 current 0 0.5 into 2 S1 S2 as there is no load 0 and speed is 1500 now apply the load and its pinnel pinnel function 1 in the ammeter because we are taking the readings in steps of input current so we got 1 ampere again note on the readings in tabular column voltage is 105 volts into 2 current is 1 into 2 amperes now S1 S2 1.5 and 0 0.5 speed So speed is around 1476 RPM. So that should be loaded on in the tabular column. Next, again increase the load till it reaches 2 amperes in the ammeter. So third reading. Voltage 104 volts into 2, current 2 into 2 amperes and spring balances 5.5 kg. The speed is 1438. And for Every reading pour some water in order to cool this filler because as the load is increasing, temperature of this filler is also increases. And do this experiment till it reaches rated current that is 20 amperes. So 10 into 2, 20 amperes. So we can apply the load till it is. in amperes and repeat this same process for each and every and after reaching 10 amperes bring this load back to 0 and 
bring back this rear start to its initial position. And open DPST switch.